Hey guys, um, my ring came off my Samsung Gear S watch, and from the back side, there appears to be some kind of glue, and that basically that glue is coming off. So, I wanted to make this video in case anyone else had the same problem, and I'm gonna do some research and I'll probably show you how to fix it. But the watch works perfectly. It's just that nice little finishing ring came off and you can now see basically the glass. You could probably pry it out, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, but it is exposed. So I was able to scratch off most of the glue, which is some kind of silicone clear silicone uh, using my fingernails from this and from this but now there are little bits left so what I'm thinking is using a q-tip oh by the way I also use the mechanical pencil um, I compressed the lead all the way in and I tried to you know get some of the stuff off so I don't want to use like a like one of those mini screwdrivers. I don't want to gouge this thing. I just want to clean it off gently, and then I'm going to use some um, clear silicone. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet, but I'm going to put some all around the circumference, and then I'm going to attach the ring. So let me just clean this up real quick. So now, I have some rubbing alcohol. I'm just gonna get a little bit on it. I don't wanna drench it. See, okay, there's a little bit on there. I'm gonna rub some off. And let's see. So here's a spot right there. I think it's working. And by the way, this came off. I was washing my hands. And once in a while, I like to run the water over the watch and just get all the dirt off. <laughs> and I guess after so many times, it made the glue um, come off. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. I got most of it, but I'm gonna dip this one more time on the clean side and get the rest. Okay, so after I dip it in the rubbing alcohol, I kind of rub it like this through my fingers to get like, you know, the excess rubbing alcohol off. I don't want to douse this in rubbing alcohol. Okay, I know it's hard to see. But I think you guys get the point of what I'm doing here. <laughs> and this was a birthday present for my wife. So definitely want to fix this because I also, um, this is going to sound crazy, but uh, I do about 50 miles of steps a week. And this watch helps me count those steps. So, well... Here's where we are at. It's about, I would say like 95%. The rest I'm gonna do off camera. And same goes with the backside of this uh, bezel ring. I'm just gonna do that off camera. See on the side, it's nice and shiny. And it just goes back on. No, but it doesn't stay on. That's the problem. And it falls right off now. So, next shot, we'll be uh, trying to glue this sucker on. All right, guys, before I search my house for some kind of silicone to use on this, 
I want to tell you what I did. Um, the best tool to get the glue off was actually a toothpick because you could really get in there and you're not going to do uh, real damage, I don't think. I mean, <laughs> I got most of it off. There are some like shiny parts of metal or maybe um, like right there. I don't know if you could get that on camera. Let me see. I mean, it doesn't, it's not really raised. So if it's not raised, I'm not worried about it. Because uh, what I want to do is just prep the surface so it'll sit flat on the watch surface. And over here, the toothpick also was the best tool for the job. It was able to get into all the crevices and get that remaining uh, silicone off. So... I mean, I thought about using crazy glue, but uh, I don't think I want to go that route. They definitely didn't use crazy glue. They used some kind of silicone on here. So that's what I'm going to use. And uh, we'll see. I'm thinking maybe dabbing the toothpick and trying to uh, put the silicone all the way around. I definitely want to, uh, you know, to put silicone around this entire ring. I don't want to leave any spots because that might um, help with the waterproofing. I'm in my basement looking for stuff and none of the, oh, actually this says clear. Nice, and so does this one. But this one I know goes on white and then dries clear. So check this out. I was about to go upstairs with this, which is obviously overkill, but I found this in one of my toolboxes. And this is clear, so um, I might have to spread it with a toothpick, but I also bought some e-liquid uh, syringes, so if I could find those, maybe I could use that. Okay, so I bought these on Amazon. Um, these are syringes that you could use to like refill e-liquid or maybe even um, put grease in your ball joints in your car. You can't buy one, so you have to buy a whole kit. So, I never used this yet, but I'm going to give it a shot. It's not like the <laughs> ones for drugs or anything. These needles are very thick. But uh, I'm going to play with it, see if I can make a nice circle by uh, sucking a little bit of this um, uh, adhesive and see how easy I could like make a circle with it. If that doesn't work, I think I'm just going to use a toothpick and just dab it and, you know, kind of like dab and then kind of drag the sealant across the ring. I'm not sure what's going to work better. But I definitely don't want to do too much. I don't want it to ooze out. So this, this might do too much. I'm not sure. This I could kind of spread it, but, you know... It might be really thin in some areas, but I don't think it's a big deal. I just don't want the ring to fall off. Um, but I think you have to take that ring off if you ever uh, crack your glass. That's what it looks like to me. So that's why I will not use uh, super glue because um, that would probably ruin it. So let me play around and I'll tell you how it works. By the way, I'll put links um, below to all these products in case you want to use the same, same products to repair your watch. Let's see how this is going to work out. So, hold on. Let's see, I'm not even sure if it's going to be able to. I don't think it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> that is not working for some reason. Hold on, let me see. Shoot, you know what? The liquid might be too thick. Let me see. I have a whole bunch of different tips. That one's bigger. So that tip didn't work. There's another tip. Let's see. Oh no, huh? I'm not sure if that one's clogged. Damn, I don't know. Okay, that's going to be a no go. I don't know what the hell I'm doing wrong with these things. 
it's possible that the glue is just way too thick. That's what I'm thinking. So that's not going to work. Because look, it's not even doing anything. I'm not even making a bubble. That's so weird. I thought this would be, uh, I thought this would work. I'm just going to ruin the syringe, probably. Oh, well. Plan B. Okay, um... <laughs> I have some glue right here. This stuff is thick. And I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. I'm going to try to do most of it on camera, but... Um... It's kind of awkward. The camera's kind of in my way. No, it's not working. I think with this method, there's definitely going to be cleanup. So let me get some more glue out. It's too bad the syringe thing didn't work. <laughs> I don't know if they're broken. I tried to use it for a different project, it didn't work either. Maybe, you know, with uh, some really thin fluid it works, but... So, what I decided to do is uh, definitely go in the groove. And then, basically, I'm just going to have to do cleanup. Because um, this is some thick glue. I know it looks horrible right now, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's going to come out good. But this stuff will turn into the exact uh, type of uh, sealant they used, which you could peel off if you really made a mistake. So I'm not really worried about it. It just looks like hell right now. It's hard to tell. I got it everywhere. Look how awesome that looks. God, this is not how I wanted to do it, but... We'll see. Okay, it does look horrible, but now I'm going to pop the ring on and then do some cleanup with uh, Q-tips and rubbing alcohol. So, I think I got it pretty much everywhere. <laughs> Actually, you could say I definitely got it everywhere, right? Okay. It's definitely on there. Now... Let me cap this. Wow, what a mess. So I'm just going to take some rubbing alcohol. And just kind of wipe away the gigantic mess I made. As you can see, it is peeling right off, so that's cool. I did turn my watch off, so um, I'm not constantly activating it while I do this. Let's see what we got. We, whoops, I got glue everywhere.
but I think even now it's not gonna fall off so at least it's not falling off let me get a dry paper towel So, as you can see, it did work. Obviously, I didn't get any glue between there. So, it spins. And, you know, there might be little pieces of glue that I'll still have to remove. But, um, I definitely consider this fixed. And I am so freaking happy because, uh, I definitely didn't expect this to happen. Just make sure I might spin this around quite a bit today just to make sure it doesn't uh, glue itself but um you know it's on there and that's awesome all right guys the watch is nice and clean the bezel moves and like I said before I'm gonna play with this just to make sure <laughs> it doesn't glue itself but everything seems to be working fine um, so there might be little globs like there's a little glob right there and you could pull that off you know so everything is working fine it doesn't fall off which is awesome and that's pretty much it so if you enjoyed this video uh, check out some of my other videos. I do how-to videos basically um, whenever something breaks in my house or my car or my computer, my watch. And uh, so I do awesome how-to videos on common things that break, you know, in life. That's pretty much what I'm about, making useful how-to videos because, uh, you know, I use YouTube a lot and um, they help me out a lot too. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.